Oh my god, All sorry. Right. I, I miss Reddit like, A then. It looks like you've got Eddie versus Jin. Eddie, uh, notable gestures moderator, I believe. Yeah, he's got a pink versus, name, that's why I said. Versus <laughs> Jin, who's got, who had a nutty comeback in that uh, previous match that we watched, so. I'm kind of excited to see this match here. Um, Eddie, from my knowledge, a very solid and just good fundamental player versus Jin, who, as we saw, just was kind of able to keep himself together under pressure. Oh yeah, so as we start working up through this warm up here, a uh, little bit slower pace of a match, but still gonna be some impressive gameplays. Definitely some interesting sends. Jin kind of a bit of a weird spot at the top, and uh, looks like we're going to move right into it here. With that being said, though, I mean, to be fair, I I don't think either player is really kind of pushing it for that warm up. So. No, yeah, yeah, doesn't doesn't quite look like a necessarily serious warm up, uh, especially because we've seen Jin play Giant, sorry, a lot faster. Uh, just misses the PCO, sadly. Eddie's going to be just a little bit too quick on sending a single line to him. Uh, you see, good exchange of clean, but Giant with a little bit of an awkward miss drop. He's only going to be able to get a single out of it. He's well primed for a nice down stack if he can find it, and he does. Uh, Eddie's able to cancel it off and stay low at the bottom of his board. Eddie actually, though, with some kind of strange pieces to work with here, and he's also got some cheese. He's got some work to do. Kind of questionable Z placement there. A little bit more to work through, but he's able to get through it. Jin not being able to find any pressure. And as we saw earlier, Jin not not really focusing all that much on kind of like topping out his opponent and more on just like not getting topped out himself. Playing to survive. Interesting outlook. Uh, Giant with a really fascinating eye spin. Always love to see those. Uh, and an extremely quickly Tetris right there too. Still a really clear exchange. Uh, I wonder perhaps if we're going to see another bit of a duel like we did last time with Cheyenne, we're this, this extended game here. Uh, and Eddie's actually going to end up taking this first round with a quick one. Actually, extremely consistent PPS from Eddie, though. Like, kind of just maintained that speed for the entire game. I think he, I think the, I think kind of an underrated skill in Tetris is just not hesitating. And I think Eddie kind of embodies that really well. This extreme consistent pace is, it's definitely something like, I, I think there's definitely something to be said there, for sure. Uh, occasionally you're practicing a sprint or something, and you feel like you're getting kind of in the flow at a really consistent, like, flat line, rather than real bursty. And I think Eddie might be sacrificing some speed and some burst to make a little bit of a better decision, uh, especially when you look at APM. Such a big difference. As we say that, though, Eddie makes a small misdrop there, but he, uh, yeah, it looks like he's going to be able to fix it up. Bit of an interesting 7-2 stack from Eddie. Send back over pressure. We haven't really seen kind of either player be in too much danger here yet. Both just yeah, neither kind of, player actually building up like that large of spikes so far. So almost as if they're testing each other. You know, a bit of a little bit of footsies. I mean, I really do feel as though um it's kind of it's actually pretty impressive that that Jin is keeping up with all this. I mean, just look at the PPS disparity. Seriously, I mean, it's pretty crazy, honestly. You have almost uh, almost equal. Big down stack though. Big down stack from Eddie, and that takes the round. Interesting start from both players, hitting a real similar opener, but Giant decided to go into his garbage a little bit sooner. Uh, it looks like Eddie's got a spike ready to take, but he doesn't. Uh -oh. He do actually doesn't take it. A little bit of a dangerous situation is going to top him out. Giant's going to take the first round for himself this set. Interesting mirror TKI opening here from both players. And well, I mean, it, Eddie. I mean, we did kind of commend it on his consistency earlier, but some of these miss drops really kind of putting a hole through our theory here. Still able to find a nice clean down stack though to return fire back to Giant. More misdrops though, really hurting Eddie. 
Nice clean down that step. Return spike, yeah. That return spike from Jin, putting on more of the pressure. Looks like Eddie's gonna be able to get get out though, and we're more or less back. Neither player in that much trouble, just kind of trying to kind of take authority of the match, as I've mentioned. Yeah, we still just seem to be kind of trading light blows almost for now. Uh, it seems like when you have this play style, you mentioned you're playing to survive rather than necessarily to kill. It seems like it can take a while if you're relying on the other person to make a mistake to capitalize on. You know, you have to hope that mistake actually comes. And when you're playing a player like Eddie, who seems to... I mean, he's had some misdrops, don't we all, but be fairly consistent. I, I'm not sure if that's really going to be a way that, for him to win quickly or anything. So this is going to be a really fatiguing game for both of them here. I do feel as though Jin's win condition is more or less countered by Eddie. So he kind of needs to make a little something extra happen, I think, if he really wants to be able to take a, like, a convincing lead here. Absolutely. Big pressure from Eddie coming across. Jin trying Jin to find a bit of a fractal. A little bit of a dangerous situation. He decides to downstack through it, but it's not enough in time. Eddie's going to take his third round for this set. We see Jin going for a flat top instead of a PCO. I'm kind of expecting the PC from him, but a bunch of misdrops is going to force him into a real strange sequence here. Fortunately, he's got my piece to work through the clean garbage that Eddie sent him, but he's going to kind of stall out a little bit here. You know, I'm not actually seeing as much uh, mid-game center for ride as I'd usually expect. Um, and I'm curious to see whether like one of the play one of these players is going to kind of like take that as an opportunity to uh, almost like take authority of the game because right now it's just looking really rough for Jin as he tries to make something happen that just isn't, you know? Yeah. It's kind of fumbling almost the T-spin there. It feels like we're both looking for it, and definitely one of the uh, more cheesier and downstacking games tonight. Uh, both players kind of playing a little bit lower attack than what we've seen previously, but still looking for something on either side really here. Kind of Jin building up. up for a decent attack, but Either way, just it kind of more or less just gets canceled on the other side. But Eddie with a pretty bad misdrop. Really nice donation though to kind of deal with it there. Jin. With that being said though, he's, he's got a rough stack. He needs he needs to get through this quickly, or he's going to be in trouble. But he does barely gets it in time. Giant and... with a quick spike ready to send right back as soon as Eddie gets finished with that though. But it's actually going to put him close to the top. He probably wants to. He gets pressured out. Eddie to take the set out of nowhere, 4-1, in a minute and 40 seconds. What yeah, feels these are like some long matches. Yeah. A PC from Eddie misses it, but Jin finds it fortunate for him. I feel like this is potentially a better round for Giant if he can keep up the pressure. Eddie's able to use some of that garbage and really kind of push him real high up. Uh-oh, Jin or in a rough spot able to barely find the combo though so he's gonna live for now looks for some um, extra and... apm while he's down stacking but just not, not really able to find too much uh, compared to eddie all right though eddie with a big spike coming can Jin kind of fend it off here he's got a bit of a weird stack able to find the tetris just in time Really and saved Jin, him. Jin is in a weird, um, Eddie's in a weird position himself, but yeah, Eddie finds the damage. And just these, these return spikes out of nowhere almost are really messing up Jin. And Jin's kind of like slow defensive style really is not working in his favor right now. So he really needs to find answers. Eddie's running away with this one for sure. Yeah, Eddie's kind of almost able to take advantage of Sometimes Eddie, uh, Giant will work through his clean and just suddenly topped uh -oh. out, not really able to find any sends there, actually. Really, at match point already, uh, Eddie just able to find some quick down stacks while Giant just not able to make some things happen. Quickly uh -oh. burst him out. Jin. He found the perfect clear, but unfortunately had already had garbage, so it didn't really help him too much. 
Regardless, so though, PC knowledge. Even when it doesn't send the damage, though, it doesn't change the fact that your board is super clean. So, absolutely, definitely works. So definitely works in his favor. But uh oh, yikes! Seems like what was probably an unfortunate misdrop, and that's the set. Eddie takes it seven one. Even though the set was long, Eddie kind of just had it the whole time, I think. And that's that. 7-1. Rough set for Jin, though. Regardless, though, good showing.